What's happening, y'all? So, uh, made some changes again. And I know you're all gonna be like, yeah, you changed so much stuff. Why do you change so much stuff? Well, because I'm trying to constantly get better. And this season has pretty much sucked, so I'm gonna do some different things. So, I actually uh, drilled a different thumb. And I know you're gonna say again, you're gonna say, well, you just drilled the new one. I thought you really liked it and you were gonna mold it. Yep, I did. Uh, and I, for some reason, I took the last couple of weeks off and I realized what was going on. I started thinking about the shape of the thumb and a lot of the stuff that I was feeling. And with an oval that was cut by the machine, because I was doing a lot of cuts, it almost felt like the oval, the hole was square, a little square. Now, let me, let me see if I can explain this a little better. I'm gonna turn this around. So this is the old thumb and you can see it looks oval, kind of teardrop shape. The tape makes it look a little bit more, but in these corners is where it kind of squares off a little bit. So when I have my thumb in there, it feels pretty good going in and out here. But as soon as I put pressure forward, it's like everything kind of hangs here and here. And it's not because I'm touching. Actually, when I go in, the sides don't touch very much. On this one, the sides do touch. You can see that one's much more rounded. You see how rounded shape that looks compared to this looks kind of like a square. There's a big difference here. This one I drilled to uh, a size of a hole to where I could like squeeze my thumb in. It was really, really tight. And then my thumb, and then I just worked it out uh, on the sides. I put mark on my pen, on my sides of my thumb. So I actually took, uh, you know, some wax pencil and marked up my thumb really good with a bunch of wax pencil on both sides. And then when I jammed my thumb into that hole and then took my thumb back out, where the markings were is where I was rubbing so I could work those areas out. So I know I have a perfect uh, worked out hole in that aspect. I mean, you can see it's much more round. It is, it is still oval, obviously, because I worked it out quite a bit side to side, because as you can see, I can't not even close to getting my thumb in this way. So it is still oval, okay? Whereas this one, again, yes, still definitely a big difference. I can't get in this way, I can this way. But this one is much wider side to side. And for some reason, the square feeling makes it feel like it hangs up. And so, again, let me turn this around. I'll talk to you a little bit more. Yeah, so the feeling of the square thumb, it's like every time I almost felt like I had to thumb it forward to get it off. And so I would have to have my hand in the right spot perfectly every time to get what I wanted out of the bowling ball. Whereas with this one, it comes off. When I, I had DC, the owner of the center was watching afterwards and you know he's a pretty good coach himself. So he was kind of paying attention to the direction the ball was coming off my hand, one versus the other. The square hole, the ball would kind of go out further and down which means I'm kind of grabbing at it a little bit, or hitting up on it. And the new thumb, it was shooting straight into the lane and I could float it through the lane. It changed my angles a little bit because I, the ball was so much cleaner through the front, but I saw so much better motion down lane. So um, I, I think this, if anything, this taught me that everybody's gonna be different. If you've got a real wide thumb like mine, like you can see skinny and wide, if you've got a real wide thumb, you're probably not gonna want a huge cut oval. You're gonna want the size of your thumb front to back to be a little bit bigger and then opening up the sides by hand instead of doing a square. I mean, if you've only got one or two cuts to do, it'll be okay, it won't feel like a square. It's gonna feel like an oval, a good proper oval. Um, and maybe it's just me, I don't know, but this is just what I noticed over the last few days of doing this. So. Um, I'm actually bowling a league this year on Thursday nights, which is really weird to me. I haven't bowled a league in a long time. Um, so I'm going to take and I'm going to throw some shots and bowl a whole league set and see what happens. So I don't know. I kind of wanted to just share with you that uh, I got some new bowling balls coming. I got the, uh, the Supernovas coming out, the review next couple days. Uh, Night Road, the Buzzer Beater. I got the new Raptor from Motive. And I've got that power core, the Cuda C power core that I got to do as well. So be on the lookout for those reviews. They're coming. Um, maybe I'll get some footage of League because League is fun. <laughs> league bowling. Yay. All right. I'm out of here. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll probably see you tomorrow sometime.